Hello and welcome to our new workshop. In this workshop, we would like to show you how you can import documents into Paper Office as quickly as possible and, thanks to the PIA storage mask, tag them and then store them. Paper Office has various import options for documents. The fastest and easiest way is via drag and drop. You can then immediately keyword the document and fill it in manually. Select a document from your Windows file system and simply drag it into the Paper Office interface with the left mouse button pressed. The window with the PIA filing modes is displayed. Select the PIA filing mode display storage dialog in order to tag the document in detail in the next steps. After the document has been dragged into the Paper Office interface or added in another way, Paper Office starts the recognition process and analyzes it in detail in the background. Paper Office tries to read out the data, such as document type, date on the document, or totals at this stage. The process takes a moment. The message indicates that PIA has recognized a sales tax identification number. In addition, you can create a contact, which will later be automatically stored for each subsequent document with the same identification number. If necessary, enter a contact name in the next step and confirm your entry with OK. You can later change the view and display documents that have been assigned to the kitchen contact. The PIA storage dialog consists of various tabs. The basic properties and settings are listed under the basic tab. The basic properties of the document can be entered here and further dates can be specified. This allows you to filter your later search for specific document properties, such as dates. Under the designation, document name or document number, you can enter the corresponding document name, which will later be displayed in the document list. The next area of the currently selected tab relates to the dates. In the further area of the date fields, PIA has already read or recognized a date, the document date. If the information is not correct, you can easily change it by clicking on the date field with the left mouse button and choosing the correct date in the lower calendar. Entering the date is very helpful if, for example, you later filter explicit documents for a specific document date in your advanced search and then want to send this to your tax advisor. If the document has arrived by post, Inbox On can also be noted with a date. As with the specification of the date on the document, the inbox date is also taken into account as a filter setting in the advanced search. If you want to enter today's date, you can simply click on the calendar symbol with the tick. This will automatically enter today's date. For work on a workflow or work assignment in a team, the due date and resubmission date can be assigned in the currently selected tab. Enter the date for the resubmission and due date of the document and you will never forget important deadlines again. In this way, both the date under Due Date On and Reminder On will also be recorded in your daily briefing and you will be reminded if something has been put on resubmission. You can make quick adjustments under the right hand icons by clicking on icons such as Today's Date Plus One Day, Today's Date Plus One Week, and Today's Date Plus One Month and today's date plus one year, and the date enter automatically. As with the previously described dates, the date of resubmission and the due date are also taken into account as a filter setting in the advanced search. Additional key points or comments on documents can easily be made in the Remark and Notes area. Many tools for upper and lower case, underlining, or enumeration are available for this. However, you can also use text sections from the document by left clicking in the comment field and then clicking on Insert Text from OCR. Now select the corresponding text passage in the document preview and click on it with the left mouse button. It is automatically transferred to the comment field. This option is also possible for the document description. Now select the folder in which the document should be saved. To do this, click on the Select button and select the appropriate folder on the left. In addition, you have the option to create automatic subfolders. Left-click in the selection list and, if necessary, select an automatic subfolder. If a user-defined subfolder is required, you can enter it under Manual Subfolder and thus also automatically create a subfolder. You can see the preview of the storage path below. After the basic properties and settings have been defined, click on the second tab labeled Advanced, 
where you can store the advanced document properties such as the document status as well as document types, keywords, and original storage locations. Document status is used to distinguish the documents according to their status entries at first glance in the document list, as well as for future searches and filter settings. Optionally, you can save a document status by left-clicking in the selection field, such as has to be checked. If the document type of the added file can be read out, it is entered in the corresponding field. You can correct the information at any time by clicking on the X and selecting the correct document type. You can store up to three document types per document. The same procedure applies to the keywords and the original file. The storage of the original storage location information is used to quickly find your original paper documents. In this way, you can quickly present the original document to the person making the request and save valuable time. It is also important to mention that all information stored in this tab will be taken into account in your Excel export from the advanced search. For example, if you want to forward your invoices to the tax advisor. The more you fill in, the better and more precisely you can later filter for the document in the advanced search, which means you can find the necessary document more quickly. As you can see under the name Contact, the contact stored in the first step was entered here. Now click on the next tab labeled Receipt. Paper Office is specially optimized for document entry. In particular, Paper Office has powerful AI modules for this which, thanks to PIA Autofill, automatically recognize and read out document data in the document and automatically store it under this tab. The recognized data are entered here next to the corresponding fields and are used, among other things, to search for them in Paper Office but mostly so that you can pass on the stored information together with the documents in the form of an Excel file to your tax advisor or carry out evaluations of any kind using the Excel export. According to information given under Document Number, Total Net, Total Gross, Total VAT, Booking Text, and Remark can be searched later in Paper Office. In this way, you can already pre-assign the document under the Receipts tab so that you can later transfer all of the information to your tax advisor. Now click on the next tab labeled Custom. The fields predefined by Paper Office are displayed here, which you can edit, delete, and add your own at any time. The custom fields open up maximum customization options for your documents. In this way, very different user-defined fields can be added, which are not available by default for the keywording. User-defined custom fields can be directly integrated into the document. In this way, specific information can be saved directly in document properties and you no longer need separate applications because the input fields required for this are already directly available. How to create and edit custom fields is explained in detail in our help desk. After all the necessary information has been entered, click on Save. As you can see, Paper Office has added the document to the folder specified in the PIA Store dialog and provided it with all the document properties. All document information and keywording details that have just been saved are clearly displayed. This concludes the storage process with PIA. Goodbye Paper Chaos! Welcome Digital Office! To find out what additional features Paper Office has, check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel.